this is Miss Knight, and I'm going to tell you about the MCF portion of the Ames Web Plus assessment. First, I'm sure you're all wondering what MCF stands for. It stands for Mental Computation Fluency. That means these are problems you do in your brain. You don't use a pencil and paper to solve these. We want to see what you're able to do in your mind without writing it down. This test is testing your mental computation fluency. So it's actually testing your knowledge of mathematic operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It's testing how well you know these skills. We're giving you this test to find out what skills you are good at and what skills you still need to learn. So don't stress too much about the things you don't know. This is a four minute test, so please concentrate on the skills that you do know and problems you can solve. I'm going to show you the MCF by practicing some skills with you, so let's go! There's a few things I want you to know before we look at the problems. The first one is that on the MCF, you will be given one practice problem. This problem is not timed and it's there so that you get familiar with what kind of problems they're going to give you. The next thing you need to know is that when the test starts, you'll be given two problems per page. Each problem will have the number sentence at the top and underneath will be three answers that you need to choose from. Lastly, skip counting will be very helpful in this test. Most of the problems here can be solved by skip counting forward or backward from any number. You know how to do that. Let's look at our first example. Here's an example of a page you would see during the MCF. You can see there are two problems on the page. Each problem has three answers to choose from. Let's go ahead and practice with the bottom problem, 280 minus 50. This problem is a subtraction problem. And since it is, that means we can use our skip counting skills to figure it out. But we're not going to skip count forward. Since we're taking away, we need to skip count backwards. Now we know our strategy, we need to figure out what place value to skip count by. Neither of the numbers has ones, so we don't need to do that. But they both have tens, so that's the one we need to use, because we're subtracting 50 from 280. So we start with 280, and we're going to count by tens backwards five times, because 50 means five tens. And we need to count on our fingers. That will help us, okay? When we count by tens, each finger is one ten. Let's all put five fingers up for the 50 and count backwards. We're at 280, first finger, 270, 260, 250, 240. Last finger is 230. We figured out the answer. 280 minus 50 is 230. And I see that right here, right in the middle. We figured it out with our skip counting. Skip counting made that problem so easy to figure out. We just had to skip count backwards by tens. And we know how to do that. So let's go ahead and look at another example and find out how to solve that one. Here's another page that you might see during the MCF. Again, it has two problems on it, each problem having three answers to choose from. We're going to practice with the top problem this time, 3 times 700. Since this is a multiplication problem, it's easy to skip count. That's what we do when we multiply. But we're not going to multiply 3 times 700. That would be way too long. So we're going to skip count by threes seven times. 
I'm not going to skip count by seven because I find that sevens are kind of hard. So I'm going to skip count by the threes instead. And we're not going to use 700 because that will take so long. Instead, we're going to take off those zeros and hide them for later and use the seven. Let's go ahead and use our fingers again to help us keep track of how many times we counted. We need to count by three, seven times. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Since three times one is three, we need to count the three as our first finger. All right, so three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, the seventh one is 21. So three times seven is 21. If you remember, the problem wasn't three times seven, it was three times 700. So now we need to take those zeros out and put them back. So we put back the zeros to the seven and make it 700. But that means we also have to add those two zeros to our answer. So instead of 21, the answer is 2,100 because we added the two zeros. Do you see 2,100 as one of the choices? Yeah, it's right there. It's the first answer. Great job. Going over all these skills and all this information step by step may seem a little overwhelming right now, but these are all skills you know and already use. We just want to make sure that you use them when you take the MCF. The most important things to remember is that you'll get one practice problem before you start the test. There are two problems on each page and each problem has three answers to choose from. And remember to use your skip counting. That'll get you through almost every problem. Remember to practice these skills and you will do great on the MCF. I know you can do it because you already know how. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Happy math.